video, my name is Marvell and I am a flight attendant and I'm currently based in Las Vegas. Alright, so I've been here for almost two years and I'm just now deciding to kind of explore and learn the city a little bit. So this past weekend I did a budget luxury shopping trip. Uh, I went to Off Saks, Nordstrom's Rack, as well as the Goodwill Designer Boutique out in Summerlin. So, if you would like to shop with me, stay tuned. Hey, welcome to my channel. Okay, so I decided to vlog really quickly. I am in downtown Summerlin. So, while I am here, I think I am going to go to the Goodwill uh, Deja Blue Boutique. They're supposed to have designer items. I'm going to check them out. Um, I went to the one in San Francisco. Um, I wasn't impressed with the one out there, but, uh, you know, they, I've seen too many YouTubes of girls finding Christian and Dior skirts and shirts and all kind of bougie stuff. So, I'm going to go do that. Uh, if they have a Nordstrom's rack out here uh, at this mall, I'm sitting in a parking lot. If they, have the, if they have a Nordstrom's rack, I want to check that out too. Uh, Nordstrom rack is good for Kurt Geiger products. Um, sometimes they have like Toria Birch and Case Bay and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes they have Valentino. So uh, I'm curious to see what they have out here in Summerlin. Because uh, Summerlin is the area they say is the money area. But honestly, I feel like all of Vegas is money area. Um, you know, you turn down one street, it's nice. Million dollar houses, multi-million dollar houses. You turn down another street, it's ghetto. Vegas get real ghetto real quick. Okay? So, um... There's nice parts of Summerlin, not so nice parts of Summerlin. But I will say the consensus is uh, Summerlin is a little more Caucasian. So I assume they're going to put the better stuff in their neighborhoods. So I'm excited to see what they have out here because I never come out to Summerlin. I live south um, in Silverado Ranch. Not quite to Henderson, but Silverado Ranch area. Uh, so let me get in here. I don't think I'm gonna take my camera. I'm probably recording on my phone if I see any good stuff. Uh, because I don't feel like hearing, oh, please now record it. Like, girl, goodbye. Do you want me to buy this stuff in Goodwill or not? Do you want my donation or not? Period. But no, but for real. <laughs> Clearly, I'm tired because I'm tired. I become like delirious. But yeah, let me, let me go on in the store. <laughs> car so that was a bust I think I saw like maybe a Prada bag a vintage Prada and something else but they didn't even look real they look fake and old so that was definitely a bust I didn't really see anything in there so I don't know I I was underwhelmed I wasted my money it's not giving what it's supposed to give which I mean, I didn't. I was, I wasn't expecting much initially because the one in San Francisco wasn't good. Um, but when I saw all the, all the people outside, like when I first pulled up, I was like, oh okay, they must have some good stuff in here. It's not given what it's supposed to give, sis. It's all good though. There's a mall across the street. I think they have an off sack, so I do want to go in there. <laughs> So 
something is going on where they're with Apple. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it's saying. It said continue to shop the Apple store, and it's like, well, why would I do that if I'm not? Okay, stayed in North Shore way longer than I was anticipating, but uh, I found a MCM bag for $2.25. Uh, it's more like a clutch or like a little, I don't know, tablet case or something. And, um, they usually go for about $385, $400, so $225 is not bad. I really wasn't planning on buying anything, uh, because technically I have a Louis Vuitton bag that I'm waiting to be repaired, and it should be back any day now, uh, from the repair center, and that's gonna cost me about $800, so I'm not even really supposed to be shopping, but I couldn't pass up this deal on this bag. Uh, which I'll show it later once I get home. Uh, I'm gonna run across the street. Let me flip this around. I think that's Dillard's over there and Macy's and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna drive through here so we can see what else is down here in downtown Summerlin. <laughs> Oh, you've been 
done for the day now I just got to figure out where my car is all right so this is a couple days later and I am back home and I totally forgot to show the items that I bought so here's my bag let's see all right so the first thing we're gonna start with is the cosmetics company store now they sell like MAC, Tom Ford, Estee Lauder, Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, like all the designer uh, cosmetic perfumes and makeup uh, items and they're significantly cheaper than you would get them if I were to actually go to the MAC store or go to Bloomingdale's or Macy's to actually buy these products. Even cheaper than Sephora. So I am going to show what I have. Let me see. Okay, so I can't find the receipt but I spent less than $30. So, we're gonna start with this Too Faced Born This Way. Uh, let's see, multi-use complexion powder and uh, oil-free. Let's see, I got it in the color Toffee. I have allergies so bad, like Vegas is kicking my butt this season. Vegas, the pollen, everything. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and really pretty compact. I can't, is it focusing? Come on now, focus. There you go. Focus on me. <laughs> Camera, can you focus on me? Me. <laughs> so, I mean, I never really tried this on my face. They only had Q-tips, so I tried it on the back of my hand. Uh, I mean, it looked like it's about the right color. 
comes with a mirror. Really, really, really pretty. And honestly, I believe this was probably about seven to ten dollars. So something like this, I believe, costs more than twenty bucks. So that was a deal. I uh, can't wait to try it. I have not tried it yet. I didn't want to. I should have wore it today, but I didn't want to, you know, make it look all ugly before I recorded this video. All right. The last two items I have are the travel size glam glow I have a youth mud glow stimulating treatment mask and um, they usually sell this for $25 I guess at the cosmetic company store or somebody sold it for $25 because it has a $25 sticker on it but this was $625 uh, and I know their, their masks are really popular and like you can usually get like a big container that's pretty expensive but you know nice trial size for $6.25 good especially since like right now Sephora isn't like giving out samples so like I've never bought their mask because I would always just get their samples and their masks are pretty good so $6.25 for this one and then this one is the one I'm really excited to try it is the glam glow flash mud brightening treatment so you know to hopefully you to get some of these dark circles and I mean I've had them since I was a kid so they're probably not gonna go anywhere as real around my mouth so we'll see can't wait to try it and let's see come on focus 625 so I wanted to get more than one of these but the only one of they only had two of these and the other one was open they had a ton of these though so if it's good, I'll go back and get some more. Can't beat $6.25. Alright, so now let's see from Nordstrom's Rack. So, if you know me, one of I love sweet smelling scents. Like my favorite perfume since I was like in my 20s, I'm in my mid-30s now, is pink sugar. Uh pink sugar is sometimes hard to find. So whenever I see the products or different products, then I buy it all. So uh, let's see, I've never tried the Roll-On Shimmering Perfume, and this was only $10. So it says that it usually will cost about $18, so $10, bucks. especially summertime, you know, have a little shimmer, a little sexy, ow. So yeah, okay. And then the most expensive thing I bought was this MCM bag. Mm. so beautiful bag uh, let's see the tag says 209 where's the receipt is this the receipt where is the receipt okay so it was 209 I had a $5 off coupon and with tax and everything this was 222.55 which is a really good deal because if you were to buy this particular bag this crossbody uh, before tax, they cost about $3.85. So I got it because I was like, well, you know, and so I could think about it. And I'm like, okay, well, do I really need this? Probably not. But do we ever need anything that we buy? Probably not. So, came with a dust bag. Upside down. Uh, let's see, the paperwork was in here. And just this stuff. But. 225 for with tax which will probably be a $400 bag is not bad <sighs> okay so I had, to hurry up on, I had to hurry up and hop on here and film this video because once I got it home let me see I went shopping on Tuesday maybe and um, I sat and I thought about it and I looked through my closet and I was like okay I don't really need this bag but I didn't want to drive anywhere to take it back so I actually put it on Poshmark so um, and it actually sold within like two hours so I put it on Poshmark for $350 which is still a steal still an absolute steal uh, because it would have still been about 400 bucks but the thing is Poshmark charged $70 in fees which I hate that so um, 
yeah, I end up only profiting $60, but considering that I don't have to drive, you know, back to a Nordstrom's rack to take this back. See, so cute. The strap can come off. Um, but I just, I don't need it. I really don't. But it's super cute. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.